Hey guys, Noble Laureate Professor Shenka has said the only problem he had with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo Namdekano, was his language, which he describes as disrespectful and uh, insightful. In a recent interview with Noble Nigeria, the literary icon noted that Kano did nothing wrong by calling for a separate nation of Biafra, noting that the separatist leaders was never accused of physically bombing any place or killing anyone. He said he is one of the younger generations who inherited a burden of defeat, of resentment and determination in their view not to make the mistake of their prejudices. They have a, a new will. They have a new understanding of history. The only problem I had with it was the language Namdekano used over Radio Biafra. I listened to some of it. Very incendiary and also disrespectful. I thought of even his own people. I don't want to go into details, but all you have to do do is listen to it. I use a certain expression in recent contributions. Those of us who stood on that side, we fought for a Biafra of conscience. And for me, that is very crucial. People like Kenam Dekano should not. IPOB or MARSOP movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, for that matter, should not act against what I call the core of humanity, which is one of conscience. In the interview, he also described the, the detention of Namdi Kano by the Nigerian government as a mistake. Kano was extraordinary rendition to Nigeria from Nairobi in June 2021 by the former president Mohamed Buhari's administration with the help of the Kenya government. The separatist leader has been detained by the Department of State Service since he was brought to Nigeria in June 2021 and is facing charges related to broadcasts alleged to have been made in furtherance of terrorism. However, Shainka described the action of the Nigerian government as kidnapping. Well, I think... Um, he did not start with such from the beginning, no, of his agitation. Uh, just say that Buhari did not handle the situation well. And that is why we are still here today. The situation was not, you know, uh, handled well by the federal government of Nigeria, led by uh, the former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. You see, eh, they know they use war. They look for peace. They use love. You understand? They they look for for peace. But the federal government of Nigeria did not do that. Namdi Kano was arrested. He was also uh, discharged. He was bailed. The same Nigerian government went after him. About 200 people in the pie that night because they they went for him but they not see him that one no they not stop there president Muhammad Buhari introduced operation python dance one python dance two python dance three even to four safe only god knows if they see anything with trouser and shirt you are a biafra agitator your own don't finish. You see, so many things, you know, uh, so many things went wrong. And that was what generated to what is going on today in the Southeast. See, there is, there is a level you put someone on the wall, you have to react. I think that is going on in that, that is what is going on in that region. They just buy people anyhow. Majority of people in that southeast, I believe, say no family for that place, not get one, one story to tell in the name of fighting for 
uh, Biafra agitations and all that. And we should also understand that people do not just agitate for no just cause. The key issue is bad governance. With good governance, I believe many would be less interested in, in staying on their own. We all deserve good governance. Something missing that we have never had. You understand? The government should look into all these complaints. You understand? Why are they agitating? See, if you they handle any matter, not just say because you want to, you know, a certain matter just like that, you can't they go the surface on the surface of the matter. No, it's very wrong. First of all, people are agitating. Why are they agitating? You understand? There is a reason why that is happening. And that should be, you know, considered why it's happening. It's wrong. Go. If this matter is not uh, treated carefully, even the next generation to come will still sing the same song. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.